and women can be bitches. That's how they sometimes are effective. And at some point, we need to let go of worrying whether Catherine thinks that you know, that was a bad word to use. I'm here, and I'm telling you, those are the words that are used. Don't worry about it, and I'll tell you later why. But don't apologize when you walk in the door. And do you hear my voice? Do you believe my voice? That's the voice you should use, OK? There's none of this hemming and hawing and worrying and uh, just <laughs> like posture. Stand up straight, sit down, and communicate effectively. And if you believe it, if you know yourself, and if you know your value, it will come out this way. And this is the way it should happen. You need to do your research. You don't go in there with drama. You don't go in there with feelings. You don't go in there playing the victim like my mother's sick and my kids are and yeah, yeah. Nobody cares, OK? No offense. No one cares when it comes to the bottom line. It's what do you bring to the table? So walk in there equipped with information on what it is you bring to the table. Have it. Be proud of it. Be forceful with it. If you want to use the B word, that's fine, because men often act like the A word, and they get over it. Learn to reset relationships. It is fine to have a very bad moment with someone when you are trying to communicate something very important and they are not hearing you. It is just fine to have a very, very tough moment. In fact, I think that enriches relationships. When you challenge people to think and you command them to listen to you, you're telling them you're worth listening to. You're not apologizing. <coughs> you have information, you have data, and you have a reason to be there. Don't go in without one. Don't go in without one. Don't go in with drama. Don't go in with the sick mom and the kids and all that. That's just not what we're about. We're about the business. We're about the money. We're going in there to make money. We're going in there to make the most money we can make. And we shouldn't feel bad about that. Does anyone disagree with that? No. Am I sounding harsh? No. Is everyone OK? <laughs> Several times along the way, being told, don't ask for this raise right now, by a woman, by the way, because we know best how to make each other feel uncomfortable, <laughs> by a woman, that I shouldn't ask for this raise right now, because even though I might deserve it, and even though it might be wrong that Joe makes 14 times more than you, that this is a really bad time, and that people aren't going to like you. People are going to start thinking you're a problem. And I remember actually shrinking to that and thinking, <gasps> I don't want that. Wow. And then I walked out of there and I was so mad at myself. I'm freaking 42 years old and I'm worried whether some mid-level manager who totally is pushing my buttons likes me. Why didn't at that moment, why didn't I just say, you're completely wrong and I expect this raise or you will not have Morning Joe tomorrow because Morning Joe is nothing without Morning Mika. And if you want to find out the hard way, tune in tomorrow morning.